Hey, did you know that all of us were taught in school to ridicule a certain idea? Did you know we were actually programmed to think it was dumb to talk about? Now let me say this, I used to believe the way you did too. Until I actually looked into it myself and found out that they actually lied about something big really big. Our perception the way we see the world. We do not even think about it but the signs are all around us. Today I will discuss the flat earth and the clues seen in our reality that give evidence to the matter. By observing natural phenomena such as the sun's rays, it sets and rises also. By analyzing shadows on adjacent and surrounding clouds, added information on sun dogs and rainbows I hope to convince you to get others to discuss the matter with others. So the earth is a realm. Nikolai Tesla the most brilliant scientist ever to have been known believed it to be true, that we are living in an electromagnetic realm. Even to go as far as to say that Einstein was wrong. Einstein would agree with Tesla near the end of his career he later remarked on Tesla being the most intelligent scientist on the plane. But I digress. Let's just look at the sun's rays. Crispuclear rays peering out from the clouds, this is great evidence. Firstly we are told that the sun is 93 million miles away and massive 333,000 times larger than the earth. 3, 3, 3 those are luminous sure like their numerology. So if that is true the sun's rays should eventually start to diverge from traveling parallel however the earth being as small as it is, allegedly, the sun's rays would not even diverge dramatically and should not have such a regular scatter pattern such as this. This scattering of light is exactly the same observation we see in real life when we see a light over a flat surface. Also what really had me looking into the topic was seeing this footage of a high altitude balloon test. Students at a university sent up the camera and a YouTuber corrected the false GoPro lens curvature to reveal the true view of our land. I see the sun as a ball of light hovering above our plane. The lens flares indicate it being much nearer. The sun spot underneath the source is bright and should not even be possible if the sun were 93 million miles away. Now moving on to sunsets and rises. A YouTuber going by the name Libertas TV has a video on his channel showing time-lapsed footage of sunsets and rises on ground and elevated. Firstly I'd like to point out in one clip the sun starts out as a point of light, as a dot it moves toward the seemingly stationary earth, and grows in size. We don't get to see this normally as it moves much slower to the eye. Now some mention that why does it just pop in some clips, it is because atmosphere compacting, weather conditions such as fog or haze, debris. Why is the footage from the mountain show a larger sun than that of the ground level? This is absolute proof as a small inclination should not register with the vast distance we are told. Another point for sunsets is that NASA shows a pretty animation of our sun setting from the ISS and it sets evenly. Once the sun has gone to a certain point the Earth's curve should block any incoming light and the sun should set as we see it in the animation. But in real life we see the sunset trails off into the corner of view. The light changes colors from lighter to cooler colors and the sun's light follows the sun as if it went way off into the distance. The sun actually makes a circular path above our stationary plane so this corresponds to what we know to be true. Now about the shadows. I have been photographing the skies a lot recently. Upon analyzing images showing the sun surrounded by clouds, we can see shadows being cast in places that indicate the location of where the ray starting position as we know light moves in straight lines. In my opinion date of light has been falsified, since the sun is not 93 million miles away and using trigonometry found to be around 3500 to 4000 kilometers above, we know that light does not travel at the 186,000 miles per second. Among other details I will not share in this video. It is like gazing upon the full moon on a cloudy night. Why is it the clouds closely surrounding the moon are lit up but not more of the sky and clouds? This is evidence of a local light source. In this image here taken from an airplane we can see the shadows cast by the clouds in the sky are creating a path we can draw upon, and in turn determine an estimate of the distance to the source. Now some dogs. 
They are seen in the scientific community as a somewhat rare phenomenon found up in high elevation on mountains or in tropical areas with high humidity, created by micro-ice crystals. Now we see like a halo but it is actually an orb surrounding the sun. Since the sun is local and closer it reacts to the conditions. I have seen a few in my area recently in North America in midsummer due to the heavy chemical trailing the military is spraying over the cities here the toxic metal compound sprayed into the atmosphere reacts to the sun. They do it to control the populace, to control the weather and perhaps block sun viewing experiments. Rainbows are quite interesting. They create an arc shape, the shape of a dome. You can artificially make a rainbow by placing a mirror under water and shining a light. How is it that outside we have water, the light, but what makes the mirror? I believe rainbows are like in the Bible stated, signs of the dome firmament's existence. So after all this said, this is my opinion. I used to trust NASA but found them to be busted time and time again online so after looking into it myself I came to this conclusion. That we live in a flat motionless realm with a creator watching. So that is why this is so important.